we shall continue our discussion on pigeonhole principle here is our next case study from the integers 1 to 100 choose one not one distinct integers arbitrarily then the claim says there exist two in the set that we have chosen such that uh, one divides the other as always if we look at this problem suppose we have decided that uh, one can apply pigeon hole principle to solve it and one has to carefully parse the statement and identify pigeons and pigeon holes okay that is the first task then when you see the difference is at least one apply the appropriate principle and complete the proof okay so what i do you are given 1 to 100 so let me take uh, pigeons pigeon holes with labels uh, odd numbers 1 3 5 7 so on up to 199 so there are 100 uh, pigeon holes we will see why i labeled them with uh, odd numbers some scheme i have to come up with now uh, so some of i uh, identified 100 pigeon holes now 101 pigeons are there now the set that i am picking of size 101 how am i going to distribute and the first element and this 101 sized set uh, where will you place them second element well where will you place them what is the scheme using which the placement happens which we shall see now so i have created 100 pigeon holes with label 1 3 5 odd numbers there are uh, 100 of them you start from 1 and go all the way up to 199 okay so so please note so any odd number you can write it as uh, that odd number into 2 power 0 any even number you can write it as some odd number into 2 power something say 2 power i for example suppose it is say 5 5 can be written as 5 into 2 power 0 and uh, 17 can be written as uh, 17 into 2 power 0 okay so suppose you have uh, say 52 so 52 can be written as uh, 13 into 4 which is in turn uh, 13 into 2 square and suppose you want to write uh, say 19 19 you will write it as 19 into 2 power 0 and suppose you want to write uh, say 16 16 can be written as uh, 1 into 2 power 4 so in general any number can be written as uh, some odd number into 2 power i for some i if it is odd number you simply take that number itself into 2 power i and uh, i greater than or equal to 0 and if it is an even number you can split them you can write them as uh, some odd number into some 2 power i and uh, for example uh, 19 you write it as 19 into 2 power 0 16 you write it as uh, 1 into 2 power 4 okay and uh, so that's all the scheme is uh, done now what we do is the following you take uh, one not one distinct integers 
So, so from the set, A1, A2, so on up to A101. If A is odd, then place A at the PGN pole labeled AI. If it is odd number, you find that there is a label with AI. If A is even, and we know that, uh, then what is A? A is uh, x into 2 power j, and uh, what is x? x is an odd number. Then where are you placing? Then place ai at uh, pigeon hole labeled x. Suppose it is uh, 52, it is 13 into 2 square, you place 52 in box uh, labeled 13. Fine. And uh, suppose you want to place uh, say 54, 54 is uh, 27 into 2 power 1 you place 54 at this label. You place them in the box labeled 27. Where will you place 16? 16 will be placed in box labeled 1. And 5 will be placed in 5 itself. 17 will be placed in 17. 19 will be placed in 19 and so on. Now, if you look at this by Pigeon hole principle, there are 100 pigeon holes and 101 pigeons. So, like this, you start taking one after another and do the placement. So, this implies that uh, there exists a pigeon hole containing at least two pigeons. In this case, uh, it contains uh, two pigeons, two elements from this. So there exists a pigeon mole containing uh, what and uh, a k comma a l belonging to the set a one to a one not one. Correct? You find a pigeon mole containing at least two. For example, a k and a l belonging to this set. Correct? Now, uh, this with this, let us see how to complete. So, there exists a pigeon hole uh, where you find this. So, without loss of uh, generality, so let pigeon hole labeled labeled is equal to x as uh, ai, ak and uh, al. Why do you see ak and al in this? Which means ak is x into 2 power p for some p and uh, al is x into 2 power q for sum. Correctly, yeah? So, p and q greater than or equal to 0. Why did I find both of them in the same? Which means when you have followed this scheme, it may so happen that uh, ak is x into maybe 2 power 0. And uh, x and ak may be same. For example, ak is an odd number, then x and ak are one and the same. And AL is also X, which is why both are in the same PG node, right? So AL is also X, and uh, now it is distinct. So you may not get same uh, 2 power P, you may get 2 power Q. Okay? And uh, if you do not bring in distinctness, probably you may get uh, 2 power uh, P as well. Because of distinct, uh, this has to be 2 power Q, and uh, Q is at least 0, and P is also at least 0. 
both are falling in the same pg mole which is why you get to see that uh, it is x in 2 2 power p this one is also x in 2 2 power q if it happens that ak is an odd number then ak and x will be one and the same fine now in look at uh, this so now uh, suppose uh, ak is uh, bigger than al okay then what do you get you look at this uh, ratio ak divided by al which is uh, x into 2 power p divided by x into 2 power q which is 2 power p minus q correct so this implies that uh, al divides ak correct suppose it is other way ak is smaller than al then look at the other ratio al divided by ak you have x into 2 power q divided by x into 2 power p which is 2 power q minus p now in this case uh, ak divides ak fine so now what is that we have done and we have taken uh, each of the element from the set 101 distinct integers then if it is odd you place them in the box labeled that odd number a itself if it is an even we said it can be expressed as some odd number into 2 power j where j is greater than or equal to 0 so you place them in a box labeled x so there are 100 pgin holes and 101 pgins there exists a pgin hole containing at least 2 pgins and you see that uh, ak and al uh, from this belonging to same pgin hole for example and uh, let's assume that uh, that pgin hole labeled is x then ak is actually x into 2 power p al is x into 2 power q please note both are falling into same pgin hole which is why you see x here and it is distinct integers so this and this has to be different now to complete the proof, uh, do the case analysis, suppose AK is uh, larger than AL, look at the ratio AK by AL, which means AL divides AK. If it is other way, look at the ratio AL by AK, now AK divides AL. And uh, that's all the climb follows, given uh, integers 1 to 200, if you choose uh, any 101 sized set, then there exist uh, two such that uh, one divides the other either al uh, divides ak or ak divides al as always uh, see the power of uh, php